Even producing content consistently on social media in the hopes of gathering leads is not going to be easy for most people until you get to the point like I have 13 years in the game and I'm doing this now. It's hard. Hello, it's Zoheb here, again. And today I want to cover a few things as to why you know the ugly truth about the failure rate in real estate. Why it's gone up over the last 10 to 12 years since I've been in the business. Why is it really happening? Number one, everyone believes fairy tales when it comes to real estate. You see so much on social media. Then you switch on Netflix and you're watching Dubai Bling and then you're watching Selling Sunset and all that. It's constant. You can't escape it. And that kind of fools people into thinking, oh, I'm just going to put a suit on and I'm going to be negotiating 15 million dirham deals and I'll make a million dirham commission, right? I'm sure there's a million shows out there right now, but all that, that's a fairy tale. When you get into this business, the reality is going to slap you in the face immediately. And I really want to talk about this as much as I can because there are people in the industry who know me. But especially in the last two years, so many people have come into the profession. There's a new wave of new agents and I want them to understand this about how many ways this is going to be a really a whole lot of hard work. It's going to put you in positions you've never been put in. It's going to put additional stress on you. It's going to test your character and you're not going to have anything when you start. And I want to give that to you as a reality. You will feel lost even with me and the other people helping you online or whoever you learn from. Because the reality of doing and watching our videos online are two completely different things. Because when you're faced with the reality of sitting there that first day at your desk at home or at your office at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., which hopefully you'll get there that early, right? You're going to be like, oh my God, the reality is going to hit you and it's going to sink in. So I'm preparing you for that. Whatever you think it's going to be, it's never that, okay? This is why I do my best to be real and raw and honest with people, even if it seems very blunt and difficult because it's the truth. Number two is people want to avoid hard work. We're in the era of social media now. And even the ads in my video, I see them come up. People will tell you you don't have to work hard and this and that. You don't have to go door to door. You don't have to make calls. You don't have to put in any effort. Just watch the leads come into you. And every time I say that, I cringe. Does that mean you have to slave away on the phone or at the doors all day? No, but I think people want a fast track approach. Even though they know it's not fast to build some grit, and building thick skin. Once you start making money and later on, you don't have to do that stuff as your only and primary source. But that hard work in the beginning, and it's not hard in the sense of physical labor, but it's tough mentally and emotionally because you have to put yourself through situations and circumstances that you've never done before. Believe me, I went through the same stuff in the beginning myself, right? I was in tears a couple of times my first year. It wasn't easy. And I'm so glad I went through it because of the person that I became and now all the success that I'm having in the areas of my life. But you cannot avoid the hard work. You're going to want to take the path of least resistance. And of course, a lot of people avoid me because I'm all about the hard work. Someone said that I can get free leads and this and that, and I can just make a couple of videos on social media. And it's like, bro, all that stuff is cool, but you cannot avoid the hard work and you're going to have to do this sooner or later. Unless you're coming in with a bankroll of hundreds of thousands of dirhams. And you're like, yeah, I'll just advertise. And even then, you're going to start advertising and people are going to start calling you. And what are you going to say? You don't have the skill, right? They call you, they ask you questions about your commission and the price. And what are you going to do? You don't have the flow, the conversational flow and the skills and the know-how to convert those people, right? What if they play hard to get? What are you going to do? But you're spending your money to get those people to contact you. If you don't have the skill, you just put and flush your money down the drain. You can't avoid the hard work. Even producing content consistently on social media in the hopes of gathering leads is not going to be easy for most people until you get to the point like I have 13 years in the game and I'm doing this now. It's hard. This stuff is becoming second nature, okay? But it's gonna take a lot of consistency and discipline and a lot of things that maybe, again, if you're not like an athlete or something, which I'm not, and neither are most people I know, and you're transferring over to real estate where you put a lot of these principles into place, could be difficult and challenging. But we can't avoid the hard work, which is what people want to do. You can't run away from it forever. Ultimately, it's going to come, knock on your door and present itself. What are you going to do? Number three is, I'm going to say the people that fail, they neglect the serious skill work. You have to learn from people who are very good at what they do. You have to now put in the time and the effort to get good. 
you're going to have to role play and practice scenarios, right? And record yourself and critique yourself and really focus on your communication skills because that is what translates to your conversations with clients. You presenting yourself on social media, your email marketing, your WhatsApp marketing, all this stuff that you put out, the more skill you have, the more communication skills and understanding around communication you will have. And that skill level goes up and up. Everything gets better. Your self-talk gets better and your confidence and your emotional state management improves, right? Your marketing improves and your conversations improve. Therefore, you convert more leads when you follow up and you get more appointments and you get more deals. But you have to double down on your skill work. And it's not again watching videos, right? That's like step one out of 100 is watching videos and free content on YouTube and podcasts. We have to step it up. You have to now start putting on paper. What level am I going to commit myself to to get better with the skills? Because that's what I did, right? That's exactly what I did. I read everything I could. I did courses. I did a bunch of stuff to master the skill. And that is why I quickly changed and adapted a bit fast. And people were like, wow, this person sounds super smooth. But I put in the work and I continue to put in the work. But again, if you have big aspirations, you want to do well. You don't want this to be just another job where you barely survive. You're going to have to put in that level of effort. Otherwise, you're going to blend in with everybody else. Because if you're not willing to do what other people are not willing to do, right? You're going to be in the same position as them because you're doing the same thing that everybody else is doing, okay? Number four, you're not realistic with time. I don't care if you have everything. I don't care if I personally teach you or you're DMing me every day and learning. You're still not going to be a mega successful agent in three months or six months or a year. Like I said in the beginning, this career to build a foundation and true genuine momentum that lasts and make very good money, you have to be committed for years. I don't care what you do and what systems you have in place. You might get a couple of deals here and there and make some money in the beginning, but that doesn't make you successful. That doesn't breed longevity. And there's so many mistakes and other things you need to learn aside from just getting leads and converting them and making money. So you're going to scale your business now. How are you going to do it right? You have to be realistic with the time. Okay, so when you're coming in, think I need to do this stuff for two, three, four or five years. Not, oh, I'm going to do this for 30 days and complain if it doesn't work. Because a lot of times people will start adjusting what they do after one, two, three months as I do. That's not enough time. You can't build any momentum in two or three months. Again, people telling you otherwise are lying to you. So when you adapt that mentality, I'm responsible for my education and my development and my growth. You're not relying on anyone outside of you. But if you do get some help, that's a bonus. But now you're out there and you're getting it and you're figuring it out, which is what you want. Because your success or failure in this business is 100% your responsibility. So this is the reality and this is what I wanted to say. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.